Hey everybody, we are live with the WMX at Briarcliff, round seven of the MX. We are going to talk to the fastest ladies on the planet. John, can you believe that the rookies are doing so well? No, I've uh, heard I've, I've heard uh, some stories, and I, I know I've been out of the scene for a while, but I did get to catch a little bit of their speed, and it is impressive. Oh, they're they're way faster than anybody thought. I think this is breaking down with these four ladies to be an amazing end of the year. There's only three rounds left to go, and they're they're going to battle it to the end. I think. Which is good. You don't want to have a uh, Ricky Carmichael situation where it's just one dominant winner. It's a it's a fun class to watch. Oh yeah, can't wait. So let's get rolling into this, and uh, thank you, ladies, for showing up. We're going to start with our number four in the WMX, Ellie Ralph. How are you, Ellie? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Being a rookie and being so young, how do you feel your performance so far this year is? I feel like it's gotten a lot better throughout the year. Like at the beginning, I was pretty rustic and it just wasn't wasn't really well. And then I rode more at our track and I think it's gotten better from there. And ever since then, it's taken off. Is your Are you pretty happy with your performances? And what do you think of Briarcliff? Yeah, I am extremely happy with how I'm finishing right now. I didn't think I'd even get top five this year. And Briarcliff is a really nice track. Everything is set up great, and the track is just overall great. That's pretty awesome. John, what do you got for her? I I heard you you live with keep her with Jeremiah Jones, but I, um, no, okay. That, I'll, I'm saving that question for later. I, <laughs> so that's why you have rookie over here. So you're gonna have that. You got better with me for a minute. <laughs> but anyway, I'm curious that you, you're you're the four. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So first year in the class. Yeah. And pretty pretty fierce competition. Are you able to run with them yet? You feel or? that's another year that's definitely another year these okay. ladies right here are like crazy fast they always are on top of everything and just speedy quick well don't you have a win this year yeah georgia is probably because it, it's definitely because it was a mud race that's that's the only reason well <laughs> a win's a win right yeah <laughs> well, ellie thank you so much for joining us we really appreciate it Neve. You're in the three. How you doing? Good. Good. Yeah. Uh, how, how's the year breaking down for you? Um, uh, it's all right. Um, not what we want, but uh, we just keep digging. Well, that's that's what it's all about, right? Yep. You you and I spoke earlier in the week uh, on the show, and, you know, taping your recap. Um, you keep ending up in the third spot. It, can you give us a little bit of background on what's going on with that? So, uh, yeah, uh, about every weekend we end up third, but uh, we will get uh, uh, we'll get some seconds in the motos, but uh, we got one moto win, but uh, yeah, so we're just keeping it up overall third, just the way that uh, everything turns out. What do you got for me, Jim? You know I'm fascinated with this behind the scenes stuff. Uh, the, me, if you're the person I wanted to ask the Jeremiah Jones question. You're, you're actually living in Bowling Green? Yes, correct. I, uh, I live uh, in Bowling Green, uh, and actually Jeremiah is my neighbor. There it is. That's what I was trying to get at. So tell us what that's like. Is that a happier success because of that, where you're at? Um, so I started training with Jeremiah when, uh, in 2012. Uh, uh, he just kept... We actually moved down to Bowling Green in 2014 to be closer to him, so uh, I could ride with him more. And uh, it uh, definitely paid off um, throughout 13, 14, 15, 16, um, and uh, 18. Um, we don't really do much together now. I mean, he'll come out to the track and stuff sometimes, but uh, we. Uh, I mean, it's really paid off for us living next to him. I mean, he's full of knowledge. He's got a. It's a. It's nice to have him around. That's pretty awesome having Jeremiah, a guy of his caliber, to take you and and, and spend time with you. The smartest racers.
that I have ever been involved with or even got to spend time with. So that's that's a pretty amazing thing. You should be real thankful for that. Kudos to your parents. You're saying they uplifted and moved for your racing career? Uh, yeah, so uh, that year I had to pick between softball and racing, and I picked racing. And uh, we could actually, they wanted to move from Southern Illinois anyways, and we could actually move wherever we wanted because we don't have family out here. So uh, they just picked Bowling Green as a pretty central place to go. Now your parents are from, uh, not American, they're from England, what is this? Uh, yeah, so actually me, my mom and dad are originally from England. Uh, we moved out here when I was uh, 18 months old. That's why you don't have an accent. Yeah, I wish I had an accent. It'd be pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Neve, thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. And good luck this year. I know you're a hard charger, and, and those two in front of you better watch out. Thank you. Andrea Berger, the three-time national champion. How are you, Andrea? I'm doing well. How about yourself? You're in an unusual... I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. You're in an unusual seat. You're in the two spot. I know... Watching your career over the last few years, you've ran up front. What's going on? Uh, well, I got Kenzie over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't get me wrong. She, uh, her riding, uh, coming up and out of the 250s, um, I think you're running in the same frame, right? From last year? Yeah. We're going to say yes. Um, <laughs> and I think it just molded her or prepped her really well for, uh, for this year considering she, they just swapped the motor um, for, from the 250 to the 450, and they, uh, I don't know, she just rides it really well. Well, l let's talk about you and how your year's going. I, I know that you're doing everything in your power to step it, step it up. Um, you have some new uh, tricks coming out this weekend? We'll see. Um, I know uh, just the back-to-back -back races kind of hinder me quite a bit because it's you go back home, you work on the quad, you you practice, and you hope for the best. And as of right now, it's um, draining draining on me a little bit, and I guess I'm a little more fatigued than other seasons. But um, overall, I'm hoping for today that or for this weekend that we will um, bring something for Kinsey, being at her home track. How do you like the track? Oh, I love it. The the changes compared to last year, don't get me wrong, last year's track was pretty good too, but this year um, Jeremy did a really good job on changing up a couple sections, and I don't know, it makes me feel at home actually because our track back at home has the same feel, the clay, um, clay base, hard pack. Well, back story for everybody, I think you know this, the reason that this is all happening is kind of because of you in the fact that you knew Jeremy, you spoke to Jeremy, you introduced me to Jeremy, and this is how we became, and how we got to Briarcliff uh, to do this for you ladies. So, thank you very much. John, what do you got for it? Uh, is, is motocross it for you, or are you kind of thinking GNCC maybe someday? Do you want to do dabblings, any other? <laughs> As of right now, um, I just, I race a little bit of cross country when I'm not racing motocross. Um, I, do mostly just for cross training, but um, at the end of the year, it is family tradition to go down to Ironman um, in Indiana, and we race GNCC. Um, it's crazy. The spectators are nuts there, um, and just the whole like it's pa it's packed back 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 to back trailers. Um, it smells like campfire the entire place, like even on the motocross track. Um, but it's just family tradition. We always go out with friends and. It's, yeah, have a great time. Good. I was, I was hoping to bring up some GNCC because that is a really good one to pick. There, there's so much fun at that track, and I wish you well. If, if you could go there again this year, are you planning on this October? Yes, I do nice. plan on it. Okay, good. And I wish you well there because it'd be great to see a motocross rider, any man or woman, do good in the GNCC. So good luck. Oh, thank you. Uh, those girls in the GNCC, they're crazy fast. So I'm, I'm happy if I get like a top five. That's incredible. That's really tough. Good luck today uh, or tomorrow uh, when, with Kinsey. I'm sure that it's going to be an epic battle. I know that she knows the track, but I think that you have a lot of drive and the ability to come back. So good luck and, and thank you very much for spending some time with us. Oh, thank you. Kinsey Osborne, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you, Lynn? 
I'm doing great. You're a rookie and you're the points leader. How does that feel? Feels awesome. Not definitely not what I expected coming into the season, but you know, it feels great. That's awesome. Is there anything that you could put your finger on that helped get you to the front of the pack in your first year? I would say my starts are definitely the main reason how I get up there, but um, yeah, that was it. Um, actually, I used to never get good starts ever until on the 450. I don't know, something just clicked, and now it's just kind of my thing. Maybe it's more power? Yeah, probably. How does it feel sitting next to a three-time champ, and then you also have on on her right the 2018 champ? So there's there's some legacy there. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, I remember I was in racing the girls' classes and always watching WMX and seeing Andrea and Shaw battle each other, and I just knew that I was I wanted that to be me one day. Well, you're right in the middle of a young lady, and it seems like you're doing really well. Really well. Thank you. John, what do you got for her? Uh, second year in the women's pro class? First year. And the year before, you were not even in the amateur ranks, you were in the youth ranks? Uh, I raced the school girl class on my 250. That's a huge step that I don't usually see uh, going from that rank to that extreme. Like, this is the top in the world in running with these ladies. And, Hats off, but what have you done to be at that level? And are you nervous when you get to the line? Oh yeah, always nervous at the line. I mean, it used to be worse, um, more like last year and years before. I don't know, I kind of just learned to chill out a little bit. And um, I always usually tell myself right before the gate drops that like, it's okay, have fun, just go out there and do your best. I just like give myself a little pep talk. But Let me ask you this question. You're at your home track. You practice here. Is this your favorite track? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure your dad didn't like it to just hear gets that. Really, I mean, I'm not complaining, obviously. <laughs> but it just gets really repetitive running on the same track all the time. Do you feel this is going to give you an advantage this weekend? Um. Yes for the sake of like where, how the lines develop and like what is the fastest. But I mean, everyone can pretty much figure it out themselves after a day of practice. That's awesome. Young lady, thank you so much. Kenzie Osborne, your points leader. John, did you have something else? I, I was curious the difference on the track. You, you probably race there every time there's a race because it's your dad's facility. At a local race, is it a different track? Is it? Full of mud holes and, no, and one liner. Um, yeah, the lines are definitely a lot different. It's not nearly as rough for one. And um, yeah, it's just the people and everything. It's different. Way more laid back, kind of smooth. And then during the week, what are you doing to be where you're in the number one spot right now? What's, what's um, going on during the week? Well, recently I've been riding every day that it's not raining, which there's not many of those. And when I'm not riding, I'm going to basketball at the gyms and stuff like that. And summer league starting up for basketball too. You're uh, highly athletic in multiple sports, so that keeps you in extra good shape, even when you're not riding. Oh yeah, basketball for sure. And I know there's not a lot of time, but as a senior in high school? Uh, going to be a junior. Going to be a junior that young and you're doing this good, incredible. But what are the other students say about this career you've chosen to go out of state or going all the time they don't understand much about it i try to explain it but they don't understand the whole like different classes when i tell them like when they know that i win they're like oh so you're like the fastest ever and i'm like no and they don't understand all the different groups i try my best but they just don't get it are you trying to be the fastest ever there's some great company behind you with heather bird and you know angela moore and so great. If there's a Hall of Fame, they're out there. Are you, is that the level you're, you're trying to go for? Or I mean, that's more of like a bonus, okay. I would say. Right now, I'm focused on having fun and just trying my best. Well, that's amazing, young lady. You're doing a great job. And look out, there's, there's three other ladies up there that want to take that crown from you. 
I know that it's going to be an amazing race, and we can't, ATV Talk can't wait to watch it. This is our first time to get you see you ladies race live, and we thank you very much for your time, and thank you for coming and sitting down with us today. Yep. Thank you yep. for having us. Thank you. It's our pleasure.